Hey guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and today we're going to be reviewing um, a semi, I don't know what to call it, it's kind of an application, but yet I would call it a launcher, it's kind of hard to explain, but anyway, it's really cool and it's for Ubuntu, and uh, the best part, is it's free. So, um, it's called Synapse, and here you go right here, uh, so it's S-Y-N-A-P-S-E, and it's really cool, so if you're familiar with uh, Gnome Do, or Gnome Do, however you say it, um, it enabled you, it was a piece of software that enabled you to click a simple icon and it brought up a menu. You just started typing and it would launch whatever you type. Well, this is similar, but Gnome Do actually got really weighted down because, uh, you know, the devs kind of lost track of it and everything. So this is kind of like the new version. It has nothing to do with Gnome Do, but, you know, you can kind of tell that it's based on Gnome Do. So here it is right here. We're going to simply click this and the menu will pop up. So it says type to search. So let's just say that I want to open gedit, which is one of my favorite raw text editors for Ubuntu. So let's just type in gedit and uh, click enter or hit enter. That's exactly what I did. And in a second here, it will load. So now it loaded. And um, it actually runs up here um, in your system tray if you're familiar with Ubuntu. And simply all you have to do is click activate, it will bring it up again. And then I could type in, say, PyTask. And it will open up PyTask in a second here. Screen capture software kind of makes my laptop run slow. All right, and there you go. Uh, one more thing, you can also, I think I have the latest version, and if I do, you can actually search for music. So if I type in with, or maybe not. Um, what am I looking for here? Music, let's go to music. So if, if I want to go to my music folder, I can type in music, and uh, simply it will open up uh, Nautilus here, and then bring me to something that I can play. So there you go. So it's a pretty cool application. I like using it because it allows me to do things uh, really quickly, really easily, um, so that's always cool. And uh, the best part, it's free. I will include... I'm not sure if I don't think there's a dev file for this, so you will have to install it via the terminal. And I know some of you guys are not accustomed to doing that. So what I'll do, I'll will put the directions in the um, source code of the video, or if you don't know what that is, just down below in the description area. Uh, I'll make sure to put that in there. And um, I'm trying to think of what else I was going to say. Anyway, until next time, guys, I'm Nick Jones for pbcasttv.com. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash pbcasttv. You can also hit up our website over at, let me bring this up here, Whoop. Uh, pbcasttv.com. That's where we post all of our episodes of our podcast, our netcast, whatever you want to call it. The cool thing is we stream live 24-7 over at live.pbcasttv.com. And I'm... <coughs> oh gosh, I had to sneeze. So, you know, we stream on justin.tv. And, uh, pretty fun to watch. There's something playing always, as you can see there. So that's pretty awesome. So until next time, guys, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.